Good afternoon, Ms. Glenn, and welcome to the Coaching Candidate uh, Portfolio Competition for 2012. I've got some questions to ask you. Okay if we begin? Absolutely. All right. Tell me about yourself using your portfolio. Okay. Well, um, I am consider I consider myself a woman of many faces um, because I do a lot of different things and I'm involved in a lot of different um, social groups, organizations. None of them really seem like they mesh together. So that's what I tried to include in my portfolio. So we can go to my back. Um, to make it easier for everyone to kind of follow along my story, I broke it up into four categories. I have family, balance, leadership, and encouragement, and then of course I have a will with some pictures. And then uh, with family, I just have a brief biography. Um, I'm from a family of four. Um, I have an older sister who just turned 28 and just recently had a baby boy, and she's a registered nurse at the Cleveland Clinic. Uh, my mother uh, graduated from Bowling Green State University with a degree in business. She's an accountant. And my father is some college classes and um, is currently a deputy bailiff where he's been all his life. And that's kind of my immediate family, so my parents are still married, so I came from a really um, stable household. Um, throughout my life, I've displayed a variety of different balances. Again, I've been involved in a bunch of different things ever since I could start in grade school from the fourth grade all the way up to. And that's what the balance portion of my portfolio focuses on, um, how I balance my academics with my extracurriculars with my social life, because that's something that I find really important. Um, and then we go on to leadership. Uh, with a lot of the organizations I've been in, I've had a bunch of different leadership positions, um, which again, I've carried out through college. Um, Currently, I have a bunch, which I don't know if we have time to go through them. We, we have 15 finish. minutes, okay. so I well, have about <laughs> five or six questions for okay. you. Okay. All right. Well, um, I won't go into those uh, too much in detail, but again, those are my portfolio. Um, and then also, I have encouragement. Um, since the things I've been involved in, again, were, were so detailed, and I could probably talk about them forever, um, I broke it off into encouragement to show that... Uh, with the, the different organizations I'm involved in, that's a major part for me, is that I have kind of a way to give back to my peers, as far as setting an example. Because mm -hmm. um, as I've gotten older and kind of figured out, you know, what, what things I be, what I want to be remembered for, and um, I, I really want to be a role model. Um, I don't want to be famous, I don't want to be a star, but that's something that I really value highly. So whenever I go back, to, get the chance, I go back to my school and speak, or um, different organizations about getting them involved in things, and just kind of show that it's okay to be in a bunch of different things, you know, and still maintain, um, your academic um, standards. So just really quick too, I have a, a page that uh, deals with some values, um, just showing the different values of, of what I value in the, a work uh, place environment mm -hmm. and in life in general. Um, then I have a vision page, again this just shows um, kind of where I see myself in the next five to ten years and um, what kind of career path I want to pursue. Um, next I have some testimonials and going more toward the business aspect of the portfolio. Um, it kind of just shows a letter of recommendations that I have from one of my internships. Um, and then also from an um, organization on campus I'm in called Hip Hop Congress. And um, also another letter of recommendation that I received from um, my boss here now for my internship with the University Culinary Services. And then my last two pages are credentials, which is pretty much just my resume um, in extended detail, uh, obviously beyond a page if I was to print it out. Um, and then finally on the last page are some projects that I did um, throughout my college career from internships and uh, other important courses I've taken. Can, can you tell us the process you went through to actually make the portfolio? Mm -hmm, right. Um, initially, I want to do something that was easy to duplicate. Um, so that's why I went with a website. Um, I started off with doing kind of a basic node map, if you will, um, breaking down some different things that, that kind of make me happy and things that I do aside from business because I really wanted my portfolio to show a different side of me from what I would have in a normal interview because I think there's a whole lot to me that will be way too long. I often find myself going over the time um, in my interviews. So I started off with that, um, and that's where the home page came in with those basic pictures. Um, again, I'm showing me running track, um, painting, which is something I like to do, with being an artist and, and playing the orchestra and the violin, so aside from the business aspect. Then I took um, the general rubric of requirements that was given to us for the biography, values, vision testimonies, credentials, and projects, and I used that kind of as my framework. And then I just kind of filled in the blank there. So I used some social media aspects and a bunch of various other um, write-ups I had done throughout my college career because I've been applying for lots of scholarships and things like that. So some of the questions that were asked were fairly similar. So, you know, why we create the will if you, if you have it already. 
and then adjusted accordingly again since I'm a senior, so I kind of had to do some changes. How do you plan on using uh, the portfolio in the future? Um, as I mentioned before, uh, just about every interview I've ever had, um, we always go over the time. Um, as far as talking to me about things because a lot of interviewers find that I'm way more involved than you know they can just see from the resume. So I want to use my portfolio to again show a different side of me from just the business aspect because there's so much more to me like I mentioned you know repeatedly again with the, the art, the athletics, um, the music, the involvement, just, just things outside of, of the basic credentials that you would need for a job. Because um, at the end of the day I, I think that Going through a resume is the easy part of a job and find out the qualifications. The next step is to find out if you're fit for the job mm -hmm. and to get to know you as a person. So that's why I, I came with the colors and the ideas that I have for my portfolio. So I'm probably going to include the link. I plan to include the link on um, or the website URL, excuse me, on my resume and um, put it on some future business cards too so that mm -hmm. when I pass them out, you know, employers can say, hey, if you want to get to know me, aside from the 20 minutes or however long we have in the interview, you know, I welcome you to, to, to take a look at my portfolio and, and see the uh, an elaboration of my resume. Mm -hmm. Well, if you could sum up your personal brand in one sentence, what would you say? My personal brand? Mm -hmm. In one sentence only. Poof, I have so many different brands. I would have to go with the woman of many faces or or many yeah. hats um, and not to be confused with being kind of fake or, you know, like a mm -hmm. chameleon type of, of thing. But again, um, I just do a bunch of different things that, that sometimes, like I said, don't don't seem to be related. And I've always been like that coming up. So that's what I would say about myself. So one of many hats. Mm -hmm. I like that. Um, what is the most important thing you have learned from the Coaching Canada program? Um, I learned how the simple things that you do in everyday life can transfer into um, applicable skills for businesses. So what I mentioned is when I started with the process of doing my nodes, I broke up some things I could do from, again, music to art, um, play video games, which is something people don't know about me, sports, and just my social life, and use those to kind of come up with keywords to help describe myself. Like, mm -hmm. For instance, um, interpersonal skills, um, self-awareness, um, visionary learners, things like that, and learning how those things that you think are completely separate can, can kind of intertwine. And um, I also learned that weaknesses are okay. Um, at the beginning, I struggled with having so many great things to talk about. I, it was kind of hard for me to pick a direction to go with the portfolio. And that's something that my coach helped me with a lot, too, um, was uh, picking that direction and kind of deciding, you know, pick a, a theme and stick to it, again, since I do so much. Well, we kind of flipped it up and said, okay, well, what are your weaknesses? And that's something that I struggled with trying to identify because no one really ever asked you that. So um, that's something that I learned is that weaknesses are okay and it's okay to talk about them in interview situations. And, and it's not really the weaknesses, but it's more so how you handle them. And that's something that I learned from my coach and the experience. What sets you apart from other future employees? And is that portrayed in mm -hmm. your portfolio? Um, I would definitely say um, the fact that I'm very much, if not evenly, right and left-brained. Uh, um, and that is definitely portrayed in my portfolio through the colors, um, the, the different animations, and, and just the, the variety from the, the pictures in the background to the quotes. And it really takes a different feel to it. Again, being right brain is the artistic side, and the left brain is more of the logical side. And um, that, that's definitely something I would say would set myself apart from a lot of other candidates is that I have that full circle. Um, and I think that that's 100% displayed in my portfolio. In the portfolio. Mm -hmm. Well, what role did your coach play in helping you develop your portfolio ideas? Mm -hmm. You talked about it. Right. Um, yeah, as I mentioned again, I had a, little, a lot of trouble trying to pick a direction uh, to go because I had so many different ideas and so many things I could go with. Like maybe I want to make it music themed or, or anything. But I really wanted to steer away from um, strictly business again because I feel like that's what a resume is for um, but my coach uh, first of all she wasn't time pressuring um, at all it wasn't a sense of urgency it wasn't a sense of I need these deadlines it was kind of a you know work at your own pace you know the deadline I know the deadline we'll just keep talking about it and get it to know each other and kind of helping you uncover some things about you maybe you didn't know um, and that was really um, really comforting because I have enough pressures uh, as it is through school and enough deadlines to meet. So knowing that um, it wasn't like a, another uh, deadline to meet. Again, we talked every week too, um, no matter what it was, and that, that really helped um, 
to keep me on track. And again, she helped me to talk about some of my weaknesses and the problems I was having in school. It was almost like a um, a, a friend, you know, if you mm -hmm. will, and and just felt making me feel really comfortable about the situation and the angle I wanted to go. It was, it was really never any negative feedback, always constructive criticism. What media elements have you utilized? For the, for the portfolio? With the portfolio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I used a website called Wix.com. Um, I pretty much just went around and tried to look for some online portfolios. Mm -hmm. A lot of the ones I found were mainly for art majors, so people that did mm -hmm. photography and, you know, uh, sketches, etc. And I mean, I, again, I'm an artist, but that's not the point of the portfolio. So I found, came across this website, and um, that's what I used 100%. And again, I incorporated some of the old... Um, or some previous write-ups I had done, some projects, essays, so it was a combination of the website and then pictures that I had and, and um, some of the write-ups. What was the, uh, the best advice your coach gave you? The best advice my coach gave me was to be myself. And now while that's something that I've always believed in, which is being myself and no matter what the situation is, um, with the idea of a portfolio, I mean, again, from the professional aspect, some people can get wrapped up in being too correct or professional or focusing on mm -hmm. what the other person wants to see rather than what you want to see. And I had a little bit of problem with that in the beginning because I was trying to be so much by the book that I was kind of losing myself. And then my coach just, you know, let me know that, hey, just be yourself and, and whatever you feel like needs to go in the portfolio, whatever is important to you, let that out. Because that's what, you know, at the end of the day, employers or whoever you decide to see it to wants to see. They want to see it kind of like a window to you beyond that. Um, they would get in the interview. Well, Miss Glenn, thanks for sharing. It's been a pleasure to get to know you better. All right.